Happy Monday, everyone, and welcome to your Monday Market Minute. My name is Shane Bergman. I'm a sales partner with the Carpenter & Kessel Home Selling Team. And today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, and that is going to be FISBOs, otherwise known as For Sale By Owners. With Brevard's market leaning more towards a seller's market, we're seeing an influx of for sale by owners scattered throughout the county. It's pretty rare, but I have shown them in the past and I've worked with a handful of FISBOs. I've always noticed a common thread of mistakes that these people are making and I've decided to make this video for you. So whether you're currently trying to sell your house, you're thinking about selling it on your own, or you know someone that is, I've decided to come up with three of the most common mistakes that I see in the FISBO world. Mistake number one is marketing. Most FISBOs rely on a sign in their front yard and friends or family to help sell their property for them. Some are savvy enough to incorporate Zillow and Facebook as a means of marketing their property, but unfortunately, these are probably not enough to do the job. Mistake number two is putting your personal cell phone on all of the marketing data for your property. This is gonna result in a tremendous amount of scam calls. You're gonna be getting harassed more than likely by investors or other people trying to lowball you for your property. And you're gonna get phone calls from other real estate agents trying to poach your listing. And ultimately, you're just gonna get a ton of phone calls with a lot of questions. And more than likely, these people are gonna have very minimal interest in your property. Mistake number three is lack of negotiating skills. Now, this pertains to all aspects of the contract, not just the offer price, which will ultimately turn into the sales price, but things like how large is the buyer's deposit? How long is the buyer's inspection period? When is the buyer's loan approval due? Things that a typical FISBO probably doesn't know about and may overlook. I'm here to say that FISBO is right or wrong because there are most definitely some people out there that have been successful. What I'm here to say is statistics prove that most FISBOs end up listing with an agent um, to help sell their home because either A, they got so fed up with the amount of calls and other crap that is out there and the time that they put in, there's no longer a value proposition. B, they've done this in the past and they got stuck in a bad deal and had no representation and so they did not want to go that route again. Or C, they finally realized that they're probably leaving some money on the table and they want to hire a professional to do his or her job. So whichever route you take, I'd be more than happy to assist. I have helped out friends in other states that wanted to sell their property on their own. I've helped out people locally and given them a little bit of advice on things that they should do to help increase the probability of selling their home. Uh, but if the time ever comes where you get in this situation and you decide you want to list with an agent, I would be more than happy to be the first person that you think of. And if you have any questions or if there's anything I can do, you can always reach out. So thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, I will see you next Monday.